All right, attempt number three. We're coming down. Let's go ahead. Okay, kill, kill the rattle, kill the rattle. <gasps> We're gonna do it. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. All right, let's go for four. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with another Creations episode. And today we're going to be starting off with probably one of the most impressive creations I've ever seen in Stormworks. So... If we march over here to the little workstation, I'm gonna pull it up right now and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. This is called the Leviathan Mark I. This is made by Red Paradise and yes, this thing is so cool. This looks like a carrier, kinda looks like a normal ship, does it not? But this thing actually flies. So I'm gonna spawn it in. I haven't actually checked this out at all or tested it, so it's gonna be kind of a a little bit of a learning process for me and oh, are you serious? Ho oh, ho ho ho. So, what we're gonna be doing here today, we're gonna play with this, a uh, couple other creations. This thing, I think I have damage on. This is, uh oh. This was a mistake. Okay, I might need to go turn damage off because I'm pretty sure it just smacked against the dock. So, yeah, we've got this. This thing comes with a little plane that we can actually try to land on top of this while in air and we've got some other things to check out i'll have them all linked down in the description if you want to download anything that you see in today's episode and if you're enjoying stormworks on the channel maybe hit that thumbs up button it helps out my channel and let's go turn damage off all right so this is take two let's go ahead and climb aboard we need to get this thing moving and get it away from the dock that way the lag will clear up look at this this is a full-blown carrier this is the inside cargo hold i believe the elevators work uh, so once you land a plane on it, you can lower it down. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see. Bow water cannons. This thing is huge. You know, I figured it would be running a whole lot worse than this, but it's actually doing pretty decent. It'll get a whole lot better as soon as we get up to the top deck and get this thing in the air. All right, I found the tower. It's time to start this beast up. So we have a GPS on the left side. Looks like we have signal lights, search lights. Go and turn all the lights on. Water cannons, horns, let's go ahead and start engine. So, I guess you can go stay in C mode, which I'm assuming it drives, or I guess it drives like a normal boat. I'm not really sure. I didn't even know there was actually a C and an air mode. Okay, so everything's all turned up here. Sounds glitching out a little bit. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Does this thing already, are we ready to move? Look at that. So here we are. I guess we could totally use it like a normal aircraft carrier. That is incredible. Now I know this thing took a whole lot of progress to make. If you read the description on the actual workshop, it talks about this thing took months to make and it was broken by several updates, but boy was it worth it. This is impressive. So I could see the elevator on the side. We could probably lower that and we could drive the little plane I guess into the little cargo hold here. So, I guess we're ready to activate uh, the air mode. I didn't realize this was gonna be this easy. All right, so if I just click air mode, are we ready? Uh, okay, so I can go, let's try to make this go up here. Uh-oh, oh, are you kidding me? Okay, so to lift it, do I just click up? Uh, hold on, I gotta figure out how to set the altitude here. Uh, we're definitely floating now. We are hovering like probably like five feet off the uh, water surface here. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to make this thing go up though. All right, so I'm lifting this thing up. I think I need to keep these even. So let's go 0 0.92, 0 0.92. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we're, how far are we up in the air? There it goes. Uh, we're wobbling a little bit. Uh, hold on, let's see. Uh, did I overpower those? Okay, so we're in the air mode. I gotta figure out how this thing exactly works. That way I don't break it immediately. Alright, so this thing was at 0 .60 for a reason. So, I think we've stabilized here. Alright, so we are definitely in the air. Man, it is super stable. So, we can lift it up and down. We can actually fly with this. This is incredible. Like, this might be the coolest thing I've ever seen in Stormworks. 
So yeah, we're moving forward right now. Uh, we could always punch in a GPS destination, so... You know what? Let's find a place on the map. Which, by the way, I haven't really gone over this. This is a, a newer update. It's probably not new by the time this video comes out. Uh, but the map actually has color now. It kind of is color-coded, too. Uh, you can see where the shallow water is around the islands. It kind of gives you a better idea as to what's on the islands themselves. A uh, very cool little addition that they've done here. So we're going to travel out to, that looks like a wind turbine. We're just going to go out to a location here. We're going to pick a random one. We'll go off map here, or out of the uh, fog of war. So we'll go ahead and set the waypoint. There we go. So we're going to go, boom, waypoint and set. Click submit, and there it goes. All right, it's turning. So now we can freely walk around. I'm debating, is this multiplayer friendly? You know, it doesn't feel bad. Like, once it got away from the dock, this is running nice and smooth. I really hope we avoid that. There's a good chance we're about to... No, I think it's going to go around it here. So, you can see the propellers, which, by the way, you wouldn't want to step off that because it's really deadly. I didn't actually realize these go outward uh, when it's ready to go into air mode. It actually, uh, the... I guess there's some sort of piston system or something. It'll drag it inward once it's in the uh, C mode. All right, so we're moving along here. It's so weird because how easy it is to walk around on deck right now. Like, this is no problem. It's not bouncing. It's so smooth. All right, so let's go over here. Uh, is this the lift controls? Elevator. Ooh, this looks dangerous. Like, look at that. That does not look like a, a very big spot to uh, fall off. So let's go ahead and go down. All right, so the elevator will lift you down into here. So, it looks like there's some crane controls inside of here. It looks like there's a little workstation up there. Uh, what do we got here for controls? There's toggle buttons. You know, looks like we got doors. Uh, what's below this? Is this maybe engine room? Uh, maybe some crew quarters that are being worked on? I'm, I'm not really sure, actually. Uh, it might just be kind of a dead spot down here. Look at this. We can walk out on the side here. There's the, uh, there's the little blades. Are we still? Yeah, we're definitely still moving. Man, this is magnificent. Like, I could sit here and just stare at this all day. This is a work of art here in Stormworks. Uh, looks like we have another crane. Actually, it's on, a, like, a railing system. Maybe to help move vehicles under the deck here. Sounds like she's starting to power down. I think we're almost at our destination. All right, so let's go back to the surface here. And what we're going to do, we're going to go grab another creation uh, made for this called the Imp. And it's a little plane that we're going to attempt to land on this and actually hopefully not fall to our death. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go grab that real quick. All right, so this is the Imp Mark III. This is made for the little... Wow, that's a small plane. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Because, yeah, that's not a huge aircraft carrier. So this is made for the aircraft carrier. Let's go ahead and climb in. All right, this looks nice and cozy. So we got the key buttons here. There's your gyro. Auto altitude, engine throttles. I don't know what that push button. Maybe this is door. Okay, yeah, that's the door. Okay, flaps. All right, so there's a certain way you need to approach this, which I'm probably going to screw this up several times because I'm Komodo. Uh, let's go ahead and go all of that. So you want to keep the auto altitude, I believe, once you reach kind of right around the altitude of the, uh, the aircraft to come in on. Uh, let's go ahead and go throttle up real quick. Actually, let's see if we can... I want to actually ease it out. Uh, how does this thing... Oh, you know what? The gyro's already lifting it. So what if I were to go... Turn the gyro off. Wait, is that magnets to actually catch the deck? I think it is. Holy man. All right, so we don't have a hook system, but we do have a magnet system. Uh, do I need to enable those, or are they going to automatically grab? What we'll to see. All right, I'm going to slowly come up on throttle. Let's go and go gyro back on. And let me see if I can get this thing moving here. All right, there we go. Resting gear is off. All right, we are up in the air. Let's go and throttle up all the way. All right, that was easy enough. Man, could you imagine if in multiplayer, like, say we did have guns, you could have a like, little mini dog fights around an aircraft carrier? Oh, the possibilities in Stormworks. It's so much more than just, like, a, a rescue game. Like, this... <laughs> I could think of an endless amount of things to do in here. And it looks like the, uh, the workshop creators are starting to think of a lot of very unique things, too. All right, so if I click auto altitude, is it just going to set it to the one that I have right now? So I think I'm uh, about 500. Let's go and go auto altitude. All right, so it looks like it's kind of locking it down here. 
So I'm assuming that we want to come in. We want to have that uh, arresting gear on. Uh, we're about 4.5 kilometers out from the aircraft carrier. There's your flaps. This might take a couple attempts. I'm hoping to be able to nail it the first time. The only thing I don't like about Stormworks, I don't know if it's changed any. Uh, to me, the actual, uh, when it pops in creations when you're really far away from them, uh, it pops them in way too late. Like, I really wish you had an option to pop them in sooner. That way, when you're coming up on an approach, you can actually see it and not see it at, like, the last moment and have to panic to try to land. Uh, I think I know how I angled this aircraft carrier, though. We'll have to see. Okay, auto altitude's going off. Let's go ahead and start to lose altitude because it's not that far off the water. Okay, so let's scoot over this way. Come on, I need you to appear. Okay, waiting for it, waiting for it. Let's go auto altitude. Let's go ahead and start going down and throttle. There it is. All right, so she's angled like that. So we're going to come around. So I'm assuming I just need to turn on the arresting gear to snag the surface of the carrier because if not, I'm going to carry too much momentum. We're going to go off the side of it. All right, so I can still see it, so maybe I can make my approach here. All right, here we come. This is about as good of an angle as I think I'm going to find here. All right, let's see if we can get her to glide in. We're looking. Okay, I got my resting gear out. Uh-oh, 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 we're stalling it. We're stalling it. I think I went too far down. Okay, we're just going to go under it here real quick. <laughs> Man, I probably just scared everybody on deck. Okay, so that's how we need to approach it. I think I killed its throttle a little too much there and it stalled it out at the last moment. I don't know, it just appears like we're going to hit it too fast, but I guess I got to put my faith into the uh, the gear here that it's going to catch. Oh, holy man. Oh, this is a uh, this is tough. I couldn't imagine trying to do stuff like this in real life like with the real aircraft carriers. Yeah, nerves is still right there. All right, we're coming in here. I'm at a little bit of a weird angle, but it just appears so late I can never line it up correctly. All right. Up, 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 okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I'm coming over tower. <laughs> okay. All right, that was close-ish. Uh, we're gonna go for a third attempt here. That, yeah, that was not pretty. It's just if the game would just load it in just so much sooner, I'd be able to see the approach. All right, attempt number three. We're coming down. Let's go ahead. Okay, kill, kill the throttle. Kill the throttle. <gasps> We're going to do it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we did it. All right, let's go for four. All right, here we come. Uh, ooh. <laughs> grab, grab. Oh. <gasps> It grabbed! Wow, that is going to be the closest I'm probably going to get to being able to do that. Look at that! We're on the deck! Do we have a crane that we can pull this back? Alright, uh, this is a bit of a dangerous situation. Go ahead and kill that motor there. Uh, give myself a high five for at least hitting the deck. Yeah! <laughs> Hold on. Is this a, is this a crane arm? It kind of looks like a crane arm. Where do I control this at? I'd like to pull this on deck, or at least get it a little bit closer. I mean, it'd be nice to get it to the elevator. I have a feeling it's up there. Hold on, let's see if I can figure this out real quick. All right, we're going to try to fish the plane back aboard here. It's a little... You know, I might be able to just knock it. I don't know. Let's see. Here comes a big crane arm. Uh, do we have full... Oh, yeah, we can turn it all the way over here. All right, Komodo. Let's try to save the imp. I don't want it to fall off. Okay. Let's go. Eh. Eh. No. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a... Uh, wait. Is there an attachment point on the imp? Like, can I just hook this? That isn't a mag all, is it? I don't think it is. Uh. All right. I got an idea here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go from this side. We're going to go under it and let's go up. Scoot it aboard. <gasps> oh, you know what? Uh, it's still attached by the magnets. If I release those, it's probably going to fall off, though. If I can just get it... If I can get it up here, I'd be really, really happy. I'm not sure that's going to happen, though. You know, we might just call this a, a good day. We did it enough here, and we made it to deck. And I'm pretty sure some way more talented people that are able to do this. But nonetheless, I mean, 
I'm surprised we hit the deck. Like, we did it. We almost flew off it, but it attached, it grabbed. I feel good about myself. Alright, so, definitely go check this thing out. Very, very awesome creation. Uh, maybe we can do some rescues with it in the future. No telling what you can all do with it. But yeah, let's move on to the next thing. Alright, so for our next creation, we are going to be checking out a fishing boat. And this is called the Europe. It's by Rainbow Research and Construction. Uh, very, very cool workshop, by the way. And yeah, this is another one of those features I actually kind of wish Stormworks had. So we've already talked about the guns, and that would be kind of a cool thing. But I've always thought, man, if you can make it to where you can fish in the game and actually have that be like one of the jobs that you can do and make money off of, could you imagine how cool that would be? So, anyways, we're going to take this thing out. There is apparently a mission here where I don't know what the fish look like, but we're going to do some form of fishing here in Stormworks. So I'm actually rather excited. So let's go and open this up here. But yeah, this is uh, by Rainbow, and I'm not really sure how to pronounce the second part of his name, uh, but the workshop is incredible. Like, a lot of quality stuff has been popping up on it. And it looks like we're down crew quarters... Uh, looks like this is all sorts of crew quarters. This might be a sorting area for fish right here. Uh, believe so. Hold on, let's turn on... Oh, that light doesn't work. Huh. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can figure out how to power this thing on. Maybe its battery's running low or something. Alright, here we are at the wheelhouse. Let's go ahead and see. Emergency battery breaker. Okay, light breaker is on. Uh, let's see. Work lights are on. It's gonna go inside light. It's going to start the generators. Okay, those are up. Generators are on. Okay, and are we ready to roll? Oh, that was easy enough. Yeah, it seems like ever since the microprocessor update came out, like everything's really, really easy to start up, even in advanced mode. So anyways, as you can see on the back here, there is a net. So we're going to net up the fishes. I've got to read the control scheme again and see exactly how it works, but I think the fish that we're netting up are actually like little uh, player built fish. It's kind of hard to explain. I, I guess we just need to really see it. Uh, we got a ways to go. So yeah, 7.4 kilometers. We're gonna go fishing here in Stormworks aboard this magnificent looking ship. All right, so I'm kind of reading some of the controls here for the uh, net. So the net, you would let it drop out. Does it have magnets on it? It's got a couple of attach points. So you would let it drop out, and then you would use the top crane here to attach to the end, and you would pull it back in. Do those need to be on there now? Or later? I don't know, I kind of read there, there's not too detailed of instructions on it, so I need to kind of figure this thing out myself. Uh, yeah, it works somehow. I'll figure it out. Uh, let's see, Is are those toggle roll magnet I don't want to yeah I definitely don't want to let this thing go okay so we got winches so I got okay there's the crane mount all right I'm just trying to figure this out so yeah you can roll the whole net out this way and then I'm assuming you would get it under the fish and then attach the crane potentially to it I don't know okay there goes that okay that kind of put it in the water a little bit and what do we got here there's a magnet at the top yeah, it's going to take a little bit of practice here. I think as soon as we see the fish and assess the situation, I think maybe potentially we're going to do some fishing here in Stormworks. That's a really odd thing to say for me right now. I like it, though. I like it a lot. The creativity on the workshop is on point as of recent. All right, we're coming up to the fishing area. I felt... Wait, is that fish in the water? Holy man. Hold on, start backing off it a little bit. Uh, be a little careful. Let's try to go in between. I see a group of fish over to the left side. I see one to the right side. Those are some big fish. Like, what are we actually fishing here? Uh, are they going to move on us, or are they going to just sit here? Oh, there's another group over there to the other side. Holy man, this is kind of cool. All right, we're coming up on the fishing spot. We just got to figure out how to actually use the net. Do we drag the net through the fish? I would assume so. Oh, they look like little uh, Nemos. Hold on. Uh, I, I forgot what that... I think it's clownfish. Uh, I always call it the Nemos, though. Uh, let's uh, slow her down. Let's just kind of come through. What are we dealing with here? Okay, so the fish don't look like they move. Which is probably good for me. Uh, do I need to run them over? <laughs> I don't 
I don't know. Is that why this thing has a hole through the middle? Can I just run the fish? Let's just try running one of the fish over real quick. Yep, those are definitely little Nemos. All right, let's go. Okay, they go under. Uh-oh. I think they're stuck under. Oh, here they come. All right. Do they attach? Okay, that's not how you work a net. Wait. No, that's definitely not how we do this. All right. Well, we're out at the fishing spot. Komodo is either going to make some money today or he's not. Uh, what's this back here? Take sample. Uh, there's a probe. Is that for water samples? I don't know what that is. All right, let's go see if we figure out what we're doing here. All right, so if I were to turn these on, where do they attach to? Uh, oh, oh, they're trying to attach to each other. Wait, is that how we hook the net? Hold on, I'm going to jump down in the water real quick. Okay, so there's... Oh, here we go. So there's magnets. So if I click that, that attach... Okay, those magnets are active right now. I'm still not understanding the full principle as to how the net works. Uh, let's go ahead, open that back up. Okay, so what I want to do here, let's go ahead and detach those. Let's lower these down. And if I do that, can I attract them to the net? Probably need to drag the net in a little. All right, so let me see if I can figure this out real quick. All right, so we're going to move this bad boy over here. Let's go. Uh. Okay, so we got that side of the net. All right, get these two hooked together. There we go. All right, net is officially hooked. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and go winch up. All right, let's roll that net out. There it goes. Ooh. Come on, keep going, buddy. All right, keep rolling. All right, it is officially rolled out. All right, no, 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 I need you to stop rolling. No more rolling. Let's stop that. Yeah, if you don't stop that, it'll keep going. Okay. All right, so the net's officially out. All right, so we're going to position ourselves where the fish are going to be right under the net. And what we're going to need to do, I think, from uh, looking at the pictures. Okay, let's get these fish under here. There we go. These are some giant fish, by the way. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and go down. Are they going to be... Oh, wait. That makes sense. So if we were to move the roll back uh, a little bit. So let's go ahead and go roll. Okay, what we need to do, let's go ahead and move the roll back. Okay, and then we're going to move the winch up, the crane magnets up a little bit to bring that net a little out. How's that looking? Uh, it doesn't quite look that great, but we're working on it. All right, so I think I might have this net in a decent position. It is weighing the boat down a little bit, so let's go ahead and start going forward. There we go. All right, so in theory... Oh, look, we're catching fish. Hey! Hey, we're doing it. We're doing it. All right, loose speed, loose speed. We got fish. We got fish in the net. So, yeah, the roll needed to be back a little bit. The crane needed to lift the net up a bit. So how do you get them aboard without losing them here? So if I were to go... Let's go up on this a little bit. Make sure we got them hooked in. And then do we want to move the roll back or do we want to roll it up? Let's try... Okay, if we wanted to roll this up. Let's try that way. No, that'd be counter. Let's go ahead and go this way. Okay, let's move that back. Let's go crane winch up. Come on, give me the fish. All right, uh, uh, roll it. Start rolling the net. No, no, roll it the opposite way, actually. All right, let's see if we can try to get this thing. It might be somewhat pinned under the boat right now. Hold on, let's see if we can just go up. Uh, up, 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 up. I want my fish. I want my big mutant fish. We've almost got it. I think I've got it somewhat pinned. So if I, I need to move the roll, let's move it back out real quick. Okay, so roll's going to move out. So as soon as you kind of figure out how to work the net, it's not too bad, actually. Uh, I'm not doing a great job, but look at that. We have a fish basically on the deck right now so let's go ahead and make the crane winch there it goes all right come on come on keep pulling it okay keep that going up we're gonna break something here in a second and it's gonna be my fault uh oh we might sink our boat here come on come on fishy come on fishy i just want you aboard all right crane winch up roll winch up there we go. We got the net back up. It was kind of shoved under the boat. Well, we got one side of it back up. Still pinned. There's probably a more efficient way to work this, but 
You know what? We're going to call that a success because we are attempting to pull this fish up. Let's go crane winch up all the way. There we go. All right. I don't think I can really roll this net in, can I? <laughs> We're going to attempt to. There we go. Yeah, this is totally not building a whole bunch of tension. But look at that. We got a fish. We're going to call that a successful day. Probably about to flip the boat here, trying to roll this thing in. Yeah, the other part's kind of caught under the boat, as you can see. We have a whole other group of fish uh, to do that with. But you know what? For the first try, we're going to call this a success. And we're going to say that we fished in Stormworks. Like, uh, that is a thing. So I think that's about going to wrap it up for this episode here today. We had two magnificent creations with the fishing boat here and the air carrier, which were really both pretty insane. Uh, really creative stuff here in Stormworks. But yeah, if you guys want to check out any of the creations, they're linked down in the description. Thank you guys for all the love and support on Stormworks. You guys have been absolutely amazing on this series. And we will see you guys next time.